video outlines the steps for putting on and taking off PPE when applying combined contact, droplet and airborne precautions in addition to standard precautions. These are needed when caring for patients with some infectious diseases, such as COVID-19, when aerosol generating procedures are used. The first step is to remove jewellery and your wristwatch if you have one. Ensure you are bare below the elbows. Before donning or putting on PPE, perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Make sure you use enough alcohol hand rub to cover both hands, as per the manufacturer's instructions. Continue to rub until hands are dry. If using soap and water, wash for at least 20 seconds and dry your hands. The next step is to put on an impervious gown. Secure the gown at the back behind your neck and around your waist. The next step is to put on a P2 or N95 mask to cover your nose and mouth. You should perform a fit check immediately after donning the mask. Breathe in and out to check that air is not escaping and the mask fits you well. The process for fit checking will vary depending on the mask you are using. Follow specific instructions for that mask. Then put on your eye protection, either safety glasses or an eye shield, or a mask visor or a face shield if you are anticipating exposure to excessive amount of splash or spray. Now you are ready to enter the patient's zone. Before touching the patient, perform hand hygiene. Then put on gloves. If you are wearing a gown with sleeves, make sure the gloves cover the cuffs of your sleeves. You have now completed the steps for donning PPE. When you are ready to leave the patient's room or zone, you need to start removing your PPE as far as possible away from the patient, such as the door to exit the room. The first step is to take off your gloves. Take care to pull off one glove with your other gloved hand by pinching the outside to minimise contaminating your skin, rolling outwards as you remove the glove. Then slip your finger underneath the glove of your other hand and carefully remove and discard into the general waste bin. Then perform hand hygiene. The next step is to remove your gown or apron. Untie the straps of the gown and pull the gown away from you. Roll it inwards and downwards. Make sure you bend forward slightly to reduce self-contamination. Discard the gown into the general waste bin. With gloved hands, pull gown from your chest and break the tie in a controlled motion and roll the gown inwards and downwards, removing gloves along with the sleeves of the gown, and continue rolling and dispose both gown and gloves together into the general waste bin. 
with either the first or second example. Perform hand hygiene before the next step and after removing your gown to minimise contaminating your face. Once you have completed either example one or two, you can move to the next step. Remove your eye protection. If it is a single-use item, then place it in the general waste bin. If it is reusable, clean your eye protection before putting it down. Then, perform hand hygiene. Now remove your mask by holding the loops from the back of your head. Lean forward and remove the mask by pulling the straps from the back of your head forward. Discard the mask into the general waste bin. Perform hand hygiene. You have now completed the steps required to doff your PPE.